Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. I'm glad you stopped by to check out this video. If you're so inclined and you've got just a second, if you would, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon next to it. It really helps me um, get the videos out to additional people. It'll notify you when I release new content. And it also lets YouTube know that you're a human who's interested in knife and EDC content, not just uh, a bot, right? So I really appreciate it, but we'll end up with that and we'll talk about my continued descent and review of small EDC fixed blades. And this little guy right here I picked up from White Mountain Knives. It is the Mercury Knives Cali, K-A-L-I. It is a little fixed blade sheep's foot in N690. Not exactly sure who the designer is, but it's got a stone wash blade, full tang construction with a lanyard hole. Really nice feeling and high quality feeling my car to handles that are held on with T8 hardware. So I imagine you could take these scales off if you wanted to wrap it in paracord or have it to be a thinner knife. I couldn't imagine doing that because it does feel so good in hand. This knife really just affords you one grip and we'll do some size comparisons in a second. But I can get a full three fingers locked in behind the choil, a fourth finger really locked in on the back side of that handle. So this little knife, I can get a full purchase. I can hold it in many different grips. It does come with this little leather or pleather, not the highest quality, but very functional little pocket dropper. So I carry this in my left pocket. The clip has really tight retention, so it's very easy to draw the knife out of the sheath. I really like the blade look. They make this knife in many different variations. One of the things that I'm not totally crazy about is the branding. It has Mercury Knives made in Italy. It has N690 and Cali branded on the blade, and then whoever the designer's initials or signature is there on the blade so you know small knife doesn't really bother me not a deal breaker but i feel like it's a little excessive um this knife comes in several different handle variations it is available in different micarta handles i think it might be available in a couple of other materials but it's also available in a drop point slash clip point now, usually when I will buy a small knife, especially a knife that's economical like this, this knife I want to say listed for $99 before I put in my code LEFTY10, the one I remember and use um, just because I'm lazy, um, saved another 10%. So I felt like it was a very good value on a small knife that I could try out and see how what I thought of it, right? And for an EDC knife, guys, I'll go ahead and give you a spoiler. It works really well. It's a great secondary carry. Um, the size is right. But before I squirrel brain on you, the reason I did not get the clip point, because typically I would have gotten both, is for some reason to me, it's not appealing. I don't like the blade shape. I don't like the way it looks, but it's very subjective. So you guys might be looking at this and go, you know, that's a nice size knife, but I really don't care anything about a sheep's footy, worn cliffy blade. They make this in a clip point. So when you search for the Mercury Cali on the Google, and I'll put a link to where I got this knife on White Mountain Knives. If it happens to be sold out, look at some of the other variations or check some of the other retailers, just Google it. Uh, the uh, Mercury Cali, and you'll see it both in this sheep's foot design, and you'll also see it in a drop point. So again, really cool little knife, um, very ergonomical. Let me grab a piece of paper. Whoops, it whittles. That was a cutter error, guys. But this is the factory edge. I've done nothing to this knife. 
it's a little thick behind the edge. I'm thinking that this guy needs a good stropping, maybe even a good sharpening. To lay this edge back just a little bit. But guys, this is the Mercury Cali. So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons and then we will get some measurements and then I will let you guys go. So firstly, let's just compare it to the Cold Steel 4 Max and the Civivi Baby Banter. Guys, it is very close to the size of the Civivi Baby Banter. Let's look at it next to the SC3. And the Bradford Guardian 3. So guys, it's going to be smaller than the SC3 and it is going to be smaller than the Bradford Guardian 3. So let's take a look and see how it compares to some of the smaller knives. That is my first J-Cal chisel grind. And that is the Jacob Creates Chickadee. So guys, you can see it's about a quarter inch smaller than my small J-Cal and about a half inch larger than the Chickadee. I don't think I really have anything that you guys might be able to get an idea from. I can show it to you next to the superlative Hella. And finally, the SC Candura. So it's bigger by about quarter half inch both to the little superlative Hella and the SE Candura. So, let's get us some measurements. Using Ben Peterson's NAFCO ruler that I have a hard time reading, this knife comes in right under five and three quarters, right over five and a half. The blade is two and an eighth. The cutting edge, whoop, two and a half is the blade length. Cutting edge, two and a quarter. Handle to the choil, three and a quarter. And let's get Grateful Panics calipers. Send these bad boys out. Point one five nine five blade stock up towards the tip. You're at point oh four six. Guys, I'm no good at getting behind the edge. This could be a waste of time. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with the behind the edge thing. It's sharp. It's slicey. It needs to be sharpened up again. But the edge looks pretty good, guys. It's got a really nice little effective sharpening choil there before you get to that uh, plunge. Um, so, yeah, I will put this on the TS Prof. Um, Get it going in a smooth 17 degrees, probably about 600 grit, and we will go from there. But guys, I can highly recommend if you're getting into small fixies and you've tried the Tucson and you're looking for something a little bit more substantial but you don't want to cost yourself an arm and a leg, look up the Mercury Cali. I'll put some links in the description. I appreciate you guys coming back. It's a winner of a knife. 
Um, please, while you're here, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and join me. And then uh, hit the bell notification icon. We'll notify you when I upload videos, when I go on live streams. All my videos release 6 a.m. Uh, in the mornings, and then I go live every Friday night at 8.15 Central Time. We spend about three hours together, just community fellowship, general shenanigans, knife talk, you know, the normal. And I'll always ask you at the end of lives and at the end of my videos to please look out for the guy or girl to your left. Please look out for the guy or girl to your right. Look out for each other. Try to get along in the chats. Move forward with love in your heart. Choose debate over hate. I love you all. Peace.